Three. Hi, I'm Noel from Windal Flutes. Um, this is a very beginner's Sakahachi lesson. Some of you may have bought my flutes, uh, a Sakahachi, and I've gotten a few emails from you saying it's a great flute, but I can't get a noise out of it. And that's not because I, got, I sold you a dud flute. They all played well when they left my hand. Uh, this is a fairly typical Sakahachi, one of my very beginner's Sakahachis, and um, they do play. The first thing is to relax. Relaxing is a very important part of the Sakahachi world. Um, take a few deep breaths, relax. Put the flute up to about, about 45 degrees. Tuck it under your, your lower, hip, lower lip. Blow gently and evenly across the tip of the flute. Half your breath should go in and half the breath goes out. It splits the, the very tip of the flute there. And it's a little bit different for everybody, so everybody has to find the right spot where it works for them. So it's best to have your hands either on all the holes, or on a few holes, or even off the holes. If you're having trouble getting the right fingering holes, um, just leave, leave the holes um, empty while you find, find the right spot where it works. And you may need to bring it a little bit up, a little bit down, a little bit sideways, that way. Because I know it can be frustrating. I've seen people spend maybe a couple of weeks trying to get a noise out of a sucker heart to you. And hopefully that's not you, but it does happen with some people. But sooner or later, nearly everybody gets it. And often your breath initially is too splayed out. You need to sharpen the, the point of the breath. So, like smiling lips, some people call it, but Give them a sharp breath, but always use a relaxed breath. And it's um, very hard to get, tell people where, how and where it's going to work, but persist with it. Some people initially, when they play Sakahachi, they can, um, they'll get quite dizzy because most of the breath isn't going down the flute. Most of the breath's going all over the place and you, you spend a lot, lot of breath and you, and you get a head rush and you feel, and you can get a bit despairing initially and you think, oh, I can't play Sakahati, but believe me, everybody goes through this and sooner or later you'll get that noise, that magic noise that you haven't heard before. And when you get it, you, you'll probably lose it again, then you pick up the flute and it's not there anymore and then you put it down. If you get too frustrated, just put the flute down, maybe have it lying around, pick it up maybe 10, 20 times a day in the beginning, just blow on it. And sooner or later you get that noise and then your body will start to remember and your lips will start to remember, ah, this is where it works. That's the spot. Um, also, when you're covering the fingers, you need, the holes, you need to cover them cleanly. Get used to putting it very slowly so that you're not half covering holes. Cover them all cleanly. And um, once you do get a noise, slowly make your way up the flute. Should be our Z flute, you can always get the lower octave I just played then. There's also the higher octave, you shouldn't have too much. After a while you get used to playing the higher octave, which can be a bit more tricky for beginners. Some beginners actually get the higher octave before they get the lower one. Just depends on the person. Um, higher octave goes like this. So Sakahachi, even though it can be frustrating, really all about relaxing, being present. When you pick up your Sakahachi, just really be present and notice um, what's going on for you, for the flute. Make your movements, particularly initially, quite slow so that you, if you are doing something right, your body will remember. If you're doing something wrong, your body will also remember that. Um, Not sure if there's anything more I can say. It's not all that hard. Um, even a child can do it. Everyone gets. Very good. Yeah, it does help with your old man to suck a hearty maker. <laughs>